Good evening. Good evening. Everybody's connected now. Shall we wait for anybody else? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Sorry, yesterday I had a problem with my internet. Because, because of the rain. Uh, yeah. Um, and the electrician uh, left. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah, sorry. Sorry to hear that. Well, we give a couple of minutes to everybody to get connected. We're still... Okay, let me just get to the attendance and share on the screen. So this is our session 23. We're almost done. Okay. So I hope everybody's fine. I hope everybody's okay. And that we have no issues. You see? Okay, so all right, I see a couple of readings. From just Fernando and Emerson. That's it. Well, the usual reminders for everybody. And of course, we're about to finish with this content to explain the relevance of effective inventory management, design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system, to design a proposal, to implement a cycle count program, identify the main idea, in key details in a passage about inventory management crisis. Yes, we're about to be done with this content as i mentioned before oh it's raining where manuel lives okay so now i have reports from yes fernando emerson and manuel okay great so i wish i knew more about everybody's situation So before anything else, before anything else, we are going to get the attendance. And as I call you on the attendance list, please let me know what you think or your opinion about the content that is so far. What you think, I mean, about all the topics about the communicative topics. If inventory is something that relates to your work, if inventory is something that you have any idea about. So that's what you're gonna tell us as I call you on the attendance, all right? Oh, Fernando says it's raining. <laughs> I think it's, it's about to rain here too, but it's not raining yet. But it was a little bit weird because yesterday, practically the whole class was raining, practically. Well, at least it says it's raining here too. <laughs> All right, it's raining everywhere. <clears throat> oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't feel very well because I don't know what's going on, but lately lots of people from my work got the flu. So I got kind of a sore throat and congested nose so from time to time yeah i might you know be excusing myself all right so let's go with the attendance let me see yeah it's about to rain i i listened to the 
drops on the floor, I mean, on the roof already. Uh -huh. Let's start with Abigail. Not here tonight. Okay. Abigail, not here. Give me a second. Who else? Who else? Who else? A billion? Is a billion here? Atilio is not here. No. My goodness. Next one. Elizabeth. It's your turn. Hi, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth can hear me very well. That's why I had my camera off because I bet the connection is failing a little bit. Can you hear me now, Elizabeth? Uh, because of the Hello, rain. Hello, teacher. I, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, but I can hear you very well. Oh, really? Because of the rain? Yes, it's uh, raining very strong. It's a very hard rain. Yes, I bet. Okay, so would you like to participate? Uh, what would you have to do? Describe your opinion about the contents that we have studied. I mean, the topics and the vocabulary related to inventory. Are you related to this at work? Do you have any idea about this? Have you ever heard about this? Have you talked about this before? Or it's something totally new for you? Okay, uh, with the new topics, it is totally new for me. Um, I didn't... Uh, no, hear, read anything about that. So it's totally new for me. Okay. And I think it uh it is good because uh it is good to learn new things. Yes. All right, thank you. Give me just a second. I just need to close a window that is making a lot of sound because of the rain. All right, I'll be right back.
Oh, it's raining a lot. So we were talking with a Stephanie. So the next person is, my goodness, Emerson. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. So, well, um, <clears throat> my opinion about uh, all the topics from the English class uh, is, well, it was good because, well, you know, we are learning a new vocabulary. Probably, it, well, it's not quite related to our, our job, well, my job, but it helps also, it helps because Every single day, you we, the people we had to involve or in discussion or topics with another people, you know, always uh, negotiation. But uh, I would like to receive also a topic, maybe not related to my work, because I'm, you know, I I know there's a lot of people working from another another things, you know, accountability, administration, right. But I, uh, I not want to be mean, but I would like to uh, get more topics uh, related related to um, personal daily routines. I don't know something like that. Daily basis routine. conversation. Yeah, daily basis conversation. Okay. Maybe maybe uh, to meetings. You know, some something like that. I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Right. Just a suggestion. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Wow, this rain it's so heavy. So I excuse myself in case I have to turn off the camera or the internet fails. All right. We're our next participant is Fernando. Hi, teacher. Good evening. So, for me, my opinion about this course, first, the content of this course was totally new in every aspect because I'm not related to this kind of world because my job and because what I study in the university. But like Elizabeth said, it's very important to learn a little about everything. And some of, some of the terms and words were familiar to me, but most of the terms or words were new for me. So like I say, I think it's really important to learn a little bit about everything. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Then we have Francisco Ernesto Acuña. I don't know if he's a person in the chat already. Mr. Acuña. Let's see. Okay, so didn't connect again. Julissa. No, right? No, we have Julissa. Yeah. Carla Ivania? Do we have Carla? Oh, yes, we do have Julissa, I see. But not Carla. All right. Luis Javier? Do we get Luis Javier? No. Oh, the rain stopped. Luis Miguel? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. We're discussing and we're giving opinions about the content in this, I mean, along I, the course. Yes. I think it's very important we, we, we have the opportunity right now to improve the knowledge with new grammar, new, book, new book vocabulary to probably make a good conversation when uh, when uh, a co-workers about the the work 
Um, and I think we had to learn a lot to 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 increase the, the knowledge. All right, thank you. And we get see, see. I can believe it is raining in a lot of places, but I think my house is it's, so hot. Really? But it's been so hot here the whole day. It's been so very hot. Okay. In so -so not, in the, uh, didn't rain. It was raining in the, in the afternoon. Ah, uh, okay. And it's still hot. It's still hot. Uh, I be, <laughs> I've been in Huayu, it's hot. Really? Okay. Okay. We called Luis Javier, I think, but I don't know if he was able to speak before Luis Javier. Luis Javier. Okay. Marilyn. Marilyn says that it's raining a lot where she is. All right. Uh, Magdiel. Hello, teacher. Present. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Would you like to express your opinion? Yes, could be. All right. Uh, where I work, uh, there is an uh, inventory every year and the warehouse um, personnel go to the each department in order to count everything are there um, everything has a scan code and they have to scan everything if they can find uh, one tool for example the person in charge of this tool has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you in charge of the of the inventory? No, no. Okay. But you see people who are in charge. Yes. Okay. I have seen. Yeah. Great. Good. At least you have closer experience with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Manuel. Hi, teacher. Hi. Would you like to express your opinion? About what? Oh, about the contents of this course. Um, yes, I agree. Because we, we learn many vocabulary about the things and the uh, we you well the, the company use on the or the or process that they do and I I think it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. Are you related somehow at work or nothing? Mm, yeah, one topic uh is more related to my work. Okay. Which one? About the e commerce. All right, nice. Great. All right, then we have Marilyn. Can you listen to us now? Did the rain stop? Well, apparently not. Mario Ernesto. No. Roberto Saúl. All right. Oh, Ronald. Uh, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. So, um, uh, about my opinion about mm -hmm. the course and the mm -hmm. contents so far, I think that I have, it has been 
because it, it helps me to um to remind to remind some concepts a uh, particular that I that I have learned in the in my work so in in, in projects that I have been part and uh aha uh -huh, in in my in my company I I don't see anything related to inventory, but uh, uh, I have had the opportunity to uh, to see different situations in clients that we 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 had advice. So uh, I I think that is interesting. Okay, great, nice. Would be Victor, Vidal, Walir. Present teacher. Hey, Are you available to participate? Thank you, Marilyn. Don't worry. All right. Sorry, well there. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, Would you like to share your opinion? Um, okay. All right. Um, I think that is something new for me, uh, that kind of topic about inventory, the management mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. And I think that is very curious. I don't think that I'm going to use it a lot because of my job and my career and also because uh -huh. of my goals in the future but uh -huh. I, I mean it's some it's i think that this word now in a, a little bit of of everything right mm -hmm. nice yeah totally okay thank you very much for expressing your opinion i do appreciate it and i think we have carlos at the end with I'm afraid he's not going to express his opinion. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to give you this link for you to take a look of the situations. And it's only for you to check which situations you are going to be probably chosen to talk about. For example, we have education, learning, functional style, environment, and sustainability, personal life, whatever the topic is, you will have one minute to talk, right? So I'm going to give you the link for you to check the options first, but then you're going to be probably chosen to say something related to this. All right, I'm going to put it here in the chat. Check it out and be ready. Try to grab an idea of what to say regarding any of those topics. All right. You'll have a couple of minutes to study them. And then, of course, we're going to project the situations and people are going to be chosen to talk about. It. All right.
All right, I think it's about enough time. So we'll get. And we're going to have the participants name right here. Let's see. Oh, lovely. I can use it like this. Are you ready? All right. Let's get started. Books and literature. And the first person would be Carla Ivania. What's the last book you read and what did you think of it? Oh, well, Carla Ivania is not answering. So on the list, I got Luis Miguel. Let me see the last book. <laughs> An interesting question. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, a difficult question. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what is it, the title in, in English is... Uh, Carl it Sagan. In, uh, in Spanish. Yeah, the Espejismo de Dios. Mm -hmm. And what do you think uh, of it? Um, it's very interesting, but sometime was uh, boring. I think it's, it's it was more... boring. Yes. Why? I don't know. Is 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 it's like like a make a deba debate? How you say debate? Debate to to the to relations and the science. I I think is 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 complicated to 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 it's try strange. to yes analyze the the, the book. Well, what Carl Sagan tried to say, yeah, because and he how is, many books are there for the saga? How many books? Uh -huh. uh, for me, only one. Only this book. This is the first one. Yeah, the first one. But, but he he had many books. Where is he from? The 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 author, the writer. The different is the reason he believing in science. But who is the writer and where is he from? Yeah, United States. Um, Carl Sack. Carl um, Sack. All right. Mm -hmm. And why did you read the book? Sorry. Why? Why did you read the book? Did you get uh, a recommended? Well, yes, in the in the university and somebody the, recommended the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing homework. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Practically. All right. Good. Uh, the other books probably, Inteligencia mm -hmm. Emocional is the phrase. Emotional very... intelligence. Yes, I think it's the, the more important intelligence we have to to Even to have days. <laughs> situation and uh, actually it's crucial nowadays. Yeah. You could have anything if you have emotional intelligence, definitely. Well, Please. thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you for your participation. Very good. I'm going to eliminate it because I don't want this to be repeated. So the next person on the list I have is Vidal. Vidal, are you able to participate? No? Atilio?
neither nor but Stephanie. I prepared an easy one. Education and learning. So what subjects or topics do you find most interesting to study? Mm. Maybe not necessarily in this course, in general, or at the university or okay. at school. Mm. Okay, uh when I was on elementary school, I have a subject about painting and be creative like arts yes arts <laughs> and it was uh interesting for me because i realized that i like to paint and you're good uh at the beginning i was <laughs> <laughs> but then i get practice i go mm -hmm. uh Sí, así se dice. I got some practice. I developed I got, some skills. And I got some practice. Mm -hmm. And I improved. I improved. Nice. Do you keep doing that? Do you keep painting yes. and drawing? Yes. Oh, wow. So you're good at decoration. <laughs> yes. All right. That, sometimes I buy on... Materials. Pipi. Yes. <laughs> That's your... <laughs> Worst decision to go to Dollar City and then spend about twenty dollars only on Canva. Yeah. Dollar City say <laughs> say you what to buy. Yeah, and at the university, what career did you study? Uh, in English, no sé cómo se dice. Ingeniería en sistemas. Computer science, or okay, computer science. Or in engineering in computer science. Or oh, really? Engineering in computer science, okay. So yes. you're good at designing? Oh, yes. I like it a lot. And programming? Um, yes. And you're done but, with um, the career? Or you are still at the university? Um, I'm still in the university, but I am... Finishing. Yes, I am doing like the te the thesis. thesis. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Oh wow. And this year I finished. So and you're the an next year I will be graduating. Yes. Oh nice. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. Very good. We're gonna eliminate this one as well. Mm. Wait a minute. Let's see the next one on the list is Fernando. An easy one for Fernando, let's see. Maybe this one. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I gotta flip it. All right. Where do you see yourself in five years in terms of your career or education? I think this sounds like a job interview. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's a hard question to me because I had like a short goals or plans short term goals yes not in five long years. long wait but maybe in five years in terms of career education because I'm an I am an engineer now maybe I want to do the degree about the master degree yes right. about I don't know how to say like statistics. Statistics. Yes, but in statistics in computer science. All right. Not the only way that is in like in in economics. Mm -hmm. Applies in informatics. Interesting. So you are Stephanie's colleague. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you work at the same place? No, I work at UCA. So you don't know each other? No. <laughs> Actually, the only the only people I know here is Waldir because oh, really? he's my partner oh, at work. But you're not in the same area, are you? Yes. I oh. mean, in the same department, but not in the same work. Um, you do different jobs. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I, I saw him every day. 
So Elizabeth, take advantage because we're not looking at you with the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, this last what what this Wait. let me see. No, this past September. Uh -huh. No, July. I end, I end my thesis. Oh, really? Yes. Actually, my graduation is the November 4. So November. I just, yes, so I just waiting for the day. And well, did is is graduating this coming Saturday? Yes, also, but um, he is economist. Uh, that's why. Oh, wow. Imagine. What an interesting world. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I eliminated again. Let's see on the list. I have Luis Javier. Hello, Luis Javier. No. Magdiel. Hello, teacher. Hello. Would you like to participate? Oh. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right. So we're going to yes. do something related to technology and gadgets. How many technology, sorry, how has technology changed the way you communicate with friends and family? I think uh, the technology is, uh, has been helping uh, important to, to the new, new generation because then the many years ago we haven't we don't have uh, a lot of uh, technology like a uh, smartphone and computers. It doesn't uh, access. Internet we, access. We, yeah, internet access. And I remember that we, uh, we had to, to go to the cyber See where to to download music, uh, to to make a homework. homework. <laughs> yeah, the, yes, the homework and everything. Or to but send now, emails. Yeah, but and even now, before that, we have to send letters. We have to take a pen and a piece of paper and start writing a letter. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you go to the post office and wait for the other person to receive the letter and wait for the other person to send the other letter back. <laughs> we had to to send a message throughout the the. Um, we have to count the the characters oh, of yes, the message. The message. It's true. <laughs> yeah, that was so uncomfortable. <laughs> and and it was so expensive, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So now you use uh internet messages, video calls now with your family. I'm um, sorry, I can't hear you. What? Okay, if you use instant messages and video calls with your family, they communicate. Yes, I I, I sometimes I, I call. I call to my father and my mother mm -hmm. throughout the the um, video. How do you say video call? Video calls, yes. Video calls. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. this class wouldn't be possible in the past. No, no. <laughs> yeah. I never, I never think that that this was gonna be possible. Yeah. <laughs> May I ask your age? Uh. Sir? May I ask your age? Uh, my age. Uh -huh. No, I I am thirty three. Thirty three, but you're still young. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. Thanks. We eliminate Thanks, this. All right, one second. Okay, so 
click the right click and let's again and the next person manuel are you ready Manuel? Nobody. 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 <laughs> An easy one, Manuel. Put in cooking. Let's see. If you could have dinner with any historical figure, who would it be and what would you cook for them? Well, I can I cannot cook, but <laughs> to be um, honest. Yeah. Uh, maybe the, I don't know. Anyone that you admire from the past, probably? Mm. Historical theory. Um, I don't see, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't. You don't know, you have nobody in mind. Yeah. All right. Do you like music? Mm, yes. Do you admire any singer, any musician from the history? No. Like, nobody. The sports? Mm. No. Science? What? Science? Inventors? No. Politicians? World leaders? No one. No one. All right. No problem. Well, I thought you were going to say that I, I, you would like to cook something for the Beatles or anybody like that. All right. <laughs> okay. Marilyn, can you hear me now, Marilyn? Did the rain stop? No. All right, Emerson. Hi, teacher. Hi. Social interaction, let's see. What qualities do you think are important in a good friend and why? Oh my well, God. I, I think <laughs> <laughs> one of the most uh, qualities that a, a good friend should have should be the, uh, well, Lo I think loyalty mm -hmm. because you know there's a lot of people co-workers partners bosses but friends maybe yeah. uh, good along people but friends it's very hard to find them well actually I don't have a, a friend a good as, close a, friend as a, good, a close friend no mm -hmm. I, I don't have it you know but I think for me, the, the quality for a good friend should be the loyalty. loyalty. All yeah. right, all right. I agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't eliminate you. I'm sorry. So let's say. Oh, Ronald? Uh, yes. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Travel and adventure. Let's see. If you could live in another country, in another country for a year, where would you choose and why? I think I will live um, in... I have many countries, but uh, but if I, I have to take a decision and where I want, where I want to live, is um maybe uh, Norway, Norway? Uh, uh huh, Norway, uh -huh. because I think that is spectacular. To, um, the uh, how do you say uh, uh, Aurora, uh, Aurora Borealis. <laughs> uh -huh. So the, the the quality of life, I think that is. Uh, uh, I, I think that is amazing the, and it has one of the all the best systems uh, social systems in the world so yeah I, I think that it will be amazing to live in Norway mm -hmm. okay Aurora and Borealis I think I found that already but since it's a concept we don't use in a daily basic conversation I forgot mm -hmm. Aurora and Borealis 
in Norway. Okay. They are called Kevin practically. Aurora Morales. The same. Uh -huh. Just with the accent, probably. Exactly. You say Aurora Morales. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, a pattern of color lights that are sometimes seen in the night sky in most of the northern parts of the world. Yeah, I've seen them like on videos and they just call it like these are spectacular phenomena of the weather and nature. Blah, blah, blah. But I've never heard they say auroras boreales. <laughs> Sounds no. interesting anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. Let me see who's missing. Roberto, so. Yes, teacher. Ready. Uh, no, but yes. <laughs> Why nobody's ready? You should be ready. All yes. right, current event. If you were a journalist, what type of stories would you like to cover and why? To cover. Why? <laughs> <laughs> can you can you tell me what is? Uh, a journalist is a person that works for the news on TV or on the newspaper or the radio. Presenting oh, okay, the okay. news and uh, what kind of new, uh, news or stories would you like to cover and why? Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, like uh, in a in a uh, in a news. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I think that story that can be I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some interesting can be. Uh, I would like if I I am I would like a journalist. I would like to 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 give news about the, the world, right? About uh, some new places to discover, uh, places to and to uh, visit uh, interesting places. Like, for example, uh, I don't know, the, 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 the seven Manabis. Wonders of the world. Wonders, wonders yes, for example. Uh, I think that that's places that you 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 can you say and there are amazing places. I think that can be interesting because all the, these uh, interesting places uh, have uh, an interesting history, right? Because and I think that it kind of interesting uh, discover <laughs> some new places around the world. For example, in in uh, another in other uh, continent, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and others uh, culture. Oh, yes. All right, yes. that would be great. Nice. Thank you for participating. Is anybody else willing to participate? Because I don't know who hasn't participated. You may raise your hand. So we still have a couple of situations. Or if you already participated, but you'd like to participate again, it would be nice. Anyone? Or I say me. Carla? Or Stephanie again? And you were the first one. <laughs> ah, this one, because you like art. <laughs> okay, teacher. So, do you have any creativity <laughs> in the creative <laughs> hobby, like painting, writing, or music? How do they inspire you? Okay, probably we already know that you like painting, <laughs> and that you are almost an engineer, and that you love designing, but how? How do these things inspire you? Um, with painting, I um, maybe search ideas on Pinterest or Google. <laughs> and when I am uh, programming, uh, the same. I search ideas and I um inspire them that way 
I think, oh, okay, I can make the same, but on a different way, with different colors, with, with different colors. And yes. <laughs> All right, thanks. So it inspires you to find more ideas. All right. I'm sorry. You got this. Okay, to eliminate this one. The next person to participate, everybody would like to. Uh -huh. If you don't me. volunteer, yes. Me teacher, <laughs> but depends on the, the So product. you choose? Ah, I can choose. Uh -huh. Uh, fashion and style. <laughs> fashion and style. <laughs> All right. How does fashion influence your self expression and confidence? Mm. I think that I think that we have to be honest because not every cloth that exists it is like perfect for for all one so mm -hmm. you have to choose that clothes that that better <laughs> looks uh -huh, yes. but everything has to do with clothes and fashion mm, I don't not all because hairstyle also the, the way you choose like the accessories like mm -hmm. like watches Tops, like belts shoes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so does that help but if if some or influence self expression and confidence just because for example, in my job, I have to wear uniform, mm -hmm. and the uniform, to be honest, I don't like it. You can ask <laughs> to Waldir too. The we have an ugly uniform. <laughs> but so, that happens everywhere in all the yes, companies. Yes. So my confidence with that uniform is very, very low. <laughs> <laughs> so I think influence very depends on what you wear. Yeah, definitely. If you're wearing something you feel comfortable with, then mm -hmm. your confidence improves, right? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. How interesting. All right, I'll eliminate this one. So I still have a couple of topics. Is anybody else willing to? How about Roberto again? Yes, sure. All right, which topic would you like? Um, family and relationships. All right, an easy one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the last movie or TV series you watch and really enjoy and why did you like about? What does it have to do with family relationships? Sorry? Can you see the question? Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, the last movie uh, or TV series. Oh, okay. That's interesting. But... <laughs> yes, but that's what you have to do with family. <laughs> yes. I'm going to be honest. I don't I don't watch uh, a lot of movie or TV series. Right? But I don't know. The last one can be... Uh, I I I just uh, watch uh, uh science fiction. fiction. Science fiction. Science fiction, like for example the superhero, you know, but it's this kind of it's not all the time. <laughs> but for example, uh, the, the the last series that I am um, I am uh, watching watching is uh, is a Loki. I don't know if you know about that. <laughs> but it's a, it's a, it's like a, a anime. No, no, it's a superhero movie. Uh huh. It's like a villain, villain, right? Billion. Mm -hmm. Billions. 
of a of a movie mm -hmm. that now has uh, uh the the own series series right i enjoy because i like <laughs> all, all the science fictions about that so there are no 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 a specific <laughs> a specific uh, i don't know say reason but oh, just <laughs> i it's I just like fun it. to watch yes yes all right nice thank you great we're almost done somebody else luis miguel again luis miguel I like any <laughs> um, wanna choose? I don't know, teacher. I don't know. Uh -huh, this one. Oh. This is already done actually. What point is it? Uh-huh. That was done. Health and wellness, personal life, or environment and sustainability. I don't know. Personal life. Personal life. Hobby or activity in New York. I focus the mechanic things to try to fix my car. <laughs> <laughs> You're passionate about fixing your yeah. car very well. All right. Oh. Oh, yeah. That counts. Yes. Okay. So we just have two left. What about Manuel? Apparently, he's not here. Okay. Anyone with health and wellness? The last one, this will be the last one. Me, teacher. All right, great. Health and wellness. Let's see what the question is. What's an exercise or physical activity that you enjoy? And how does it benefit you? I think that walking. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to walk in, in parks or in a... Uh, uh, why, like, how to say that? In, like senderos, or I don't know how to oh, say. It. Trails. Trails. And actually, I I hiking. I, I, I have hiking. And actually, I I live near of my workplace, uh -huh. so I walk there. Like all the way like, from home to work and from work to home. Yeah, it's like twenty minutes. So I walk. Um, nice. And I think that. It's like, how does it benefit me? I think that because of my work is in an office, I mm -hmm. think that maintaining it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that 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 uh, the because I work, I think that I like still in shape. <laughs> I, I am still in shape. <laughs> yeah, I know because working in an office. And being so many hours just sitting in front of a computer is not really beneficial for physical health. Yes, True. I think that is something like easy to 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 do. Mm -hmm. Wow, great! I used to have a partner that didn't live far from from the foundation, and he, well, he used to walk. But not the whole distance. Sometimes he, he walked just like halfway. And the other part, he took a, a shuttle, like a, a pirata taxi, you know. 
So someday he got bumped from a taxi. So he said, okay, I'm not begging these people anymore. So he bought a bicycle. And then he used to ride his bicycle from work. I mean, from home to work and from work home. So it was a really good idea, actually. So yeah. nice. Thanks for sharing. Very good. Mm, let me see. Let me see. I need to see something. All right. Okay, good. Well, we are just on um, the topics that we've been discussing. I just grabbed. Yeah, accuracy of inventory. This is the concept that I found pretty useful. So we can just read it and analyze it. With an inventory accuracy, inventory accuracy measures the difference in your stock between your electronic records and your physical stock. So whatever is on the system, it should be in physical, right? So usually you compare the recorded inventory number in your inventory management system and what is actually available in your warehouse or a store. So sometimes uh, the concepts are probably not that clear or not that obvious because we're not in the area, but if we find like this sort of definition, definitely we get a better idea. All right, so I also got this, uh, we were in this, Describing yesterday about the cycle counting and it says it's a perpetual auditing procedure for inventory where you count a small portion of the stock every day. So your entire inventory will be counted on a rotating basis. So by adopting a cycle counting program, you can enjoy a higher accuracy rate. This way, any error discovered during this small counts will help you to narrow down where to check for discrepancies. Thus, you can quickly catch and resolve issues immediately to adjust your inventory records accordingly. So this were really meaningful. I found them like, oh, that gives a better perspective to solve the exercises that the manual present. So let me just find something right here. Yes. Wait a minute. Yes, I have it right here. And it says that you gotta rank the benefits of implementing a cycle count program. One should be the most important and five the least important. Then discuss your ranking and the benefits with the class. Okay, so a cycle count program or inventory accuracy count is a technique where inventory is counted on cyclic schedule rather than once a year. So the following are some of the advantages. So you have to say which one is the most important and number five, the less important. Try to do it on your own, then we're gonna compare and discuss why we say that. All right, you get two minutes to do it.
Ah, yo no sé. Ay, para no estudio finish. Yes. I also finished, but I think the that is will depend on the kind of business that you own. So, which are what? Which is the most important for you? I think that the more important is to raise productivity and efficiency to more accurate data, leading to reduce operational and inventory character. Could be because I was between that one and improve your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory data. So that could be number one with rate productivity or vice versa. So maybe yeah, those two could they're... be num number one and number two. Yes, yeah, and also they are like, uh, they are like like re loyal. related. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> so number three. Um, I could generate focus on continuous improvement at the organization level. But I, for you, what is like the less important, the least important? Number five to me could be reinforce the importance of receiving the organization culture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I also put that one. Number yeah. five. And to me, number three, is help identify and correct receiving and shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors. Yeah, it could be. I think that, like you say, it's like to the independent of the, the kind of business. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what says the other ones. The Emerson said that it's not called from his job, so you can talk. So we did it. <laughs> This great Friday is the, the last day, right? What do you say? This, this Friday is the, the last day of class, right? I don't know. We we should know teachers said that Friday. The other one? This Friday. Ah, okay. <laughs>
Well, let's wait for everybody to return. I think everybody's back now. Okay, let's let's see what you came up with. Okay, here we go. All right, rank the benefits of implementing a cycle count program. One the most important, by the less important. Then discuss your ranking and benefits with the class. Okay. So a cycle count program or inventory accuracy count is a technique where inventory is counted on a cycle schedule rather than once a year. So the following are some of its advantages. Reinforce the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. It generates focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. It improves your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory data or data, whatever you want to say. It helps you identify and correct receiving, showing, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors and raises productivity and efficiency through more accurate data leading to reduce operational and inventory carry costs. So which one would be the number one advantage? Talking with Waldir, we agree that the most important could be the last one. Raising or, productivity. Or the third one because they are related. Uh huh. Improves and, your and, supply chain. And it will depend on the kind of business that you own. Own. Oh. All right. So let's leave. Okay, I'm gonna put it outside. This could be the first one. And improve your supply chain would be number two. Okay. So improve, yeah, this will be number two. We'll leave it like number two. This one. Okay, because they're related. So those will be like the two more important. Yes. Number three. The third one is help identify the correct receiving shall be under packaging labeling returns and fully man errors. Oh right. Fulfillment. Errors. Number three. Okay. The fourth one is generate focus on continuous improvement at the organization level. So to generate focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level and the number five. This one. Yes. Okay. So this will be to reinforce the importance of accuracy in your organization culture. Okay, perfectly. This is as a consequence of all the other aspects, right? Okay, great. Anyone has something different or does it agree? With the benefits? Or the advantages. All right. No one opposes. Here, all drawings. One second, please.
All right, I'm gonna share a video. Well, a link actually of a video that I would like you to watch. It's for you to have a better idea of how this system work. Let's see. I'll put it here in the chat. Is this the video that I want you to watch?
Hello. Did you watch the video? Yes, I saw it. How was it? Honestly, it was like a... I mean, I try to understand it that the video said, but it's difficult to see it when you only had the or 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 they only mention it. No, I didn't see like the application about the about the program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were advertising this this uh, system, right? Mm -hmm. So. I just want to end the session with this challenge. So I'm going to help you out so you don't have to do it alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Make or do. I hate doing housework, especially cleaning. Why do you always do or make the same mistake? What would you say? Make. Exactly. Why do you always make the same mistake? Can you do or make me a favor? Make me. <laughs> do. <laughs> Please do me a favor. It depends on what it is. Yes. Have you? Do. But in this have. case, it has to be conjugated. It has to be in the participle form. Have you? Do in past participle? Did that's done. password done exactly? Oh, password. have you done your homework? Not yet. I need to see the dentist, but I haven't. Made made. Mm -hmm. I haven't made an appointment. I'm a course in photography at the moment. It's very good. Doing. I'm doing. The last time an exam was 10 years ago. Did. The last time I did an exam. Or I made an exam. Made, 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 made. <laughs> How many phone calls did you? Yesterday. Ooh. Did you do? Did, did you, you make? make... Did you... How many phone calls did you make yesterday? When you finish exercise one, you can do. You can do exercise two. There's something wrong with the car. The engine is making, is making a strange noise. Some, if you notice, are literal, like in Spanish, right? It was a bad mistake. It was the worst mistake I ever. Made. Made. Let's a list of all the things that we have to do. Let's make. Let's make a list of all the things that we have to do. We have to do today. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yes, is a matter of challenge with the language. And in order to know when to use do and when to use make. All right. Let's have the last attendance. Time flies. Okay. I'll go fast. <laughs> Just to let you know. Abigail, Apilio, Elizabeth, present, Emerson, present, Fernando, here, Francisco, Hazel, Julissa, Carla, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Magdalena, present, hey, 
Present. Manuel. Present. Marilyn. Present. Mario. Present. Roberto. Present. Ronald. Present. Victor. Vidal. Waldir. Carlos. Oh, great. Present. Oh, great. Are you done with the platform? Yes, teacher. In the exam? Yes. Nice. <clears throat> well, teacher, thank you very much. Yes? There are uh, some issues in the platform. The mistakes that they never correct. Yeah. Right? Let's Do keep you know pushing. Anything? Let's keep insist. Yeah, I keep insisting, but I know, well, I'm going to report it once again. Let's see what happens. What if not? It's, I mean, you leave it as it should be. We can even double check here, project the platform. And if it is like that, well, it is like that. But the error is not yours. It's a mistake in the platform. All right. Mm -hmm. Anything else I can help you with? No? No. Wonderful night. Thanks, teacher. You too. Good All night. Right. Thank you. Take Thank care. You. Good night. Yeah. Good, yeah. Good night, actually. Good night. Good night.